There's been so much excitement this week about Frankie de Jong, about Tyrell Malassia, about Lissandro Martinez and all the transfers that have happened. But I've also been focusing this week on the beginning of preseason. Eric Ten Hag has been training with this Manchester United squad for what, 72 hours now? There or thereabouts. Preseason has begun. And what I want to do in this video is take a look at some of the videos that have been released by Manchester United and the patterns that we have seen immediately and predictably from Ten Hag and his coaching style. And I say predictably, and I say that in a positive way, because Manchester United have got to change our whole footballing philosophy under Eric Ten Hag, and it will take time. So what I want to do in this video is take a look at the early signs of that, because I think it'll be very, very interesting. I think you'll enjoy it too. So please, if you do enjoy the video by the end of it, make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. Just go down there, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well, as always. But let's get straight into this one. Now, you'll remember that I, on Monday, did a video talking about Ten Hag's preseason plans and what he would be doing. And there was one video in particular that I pulled up on. And it was this video of a training drill from out in Ajax. And you can hear, you can hear the intensity there. That's, I don't actually think that's Ten Hag, but this is Ajax training. Look at the tempo and the intensity of this one touch movement. The player in the middle, middle turns around, is between. It's all about that quick passing, quick movement, and the intensity. The buzzword is the intensity. And what is the first video that was released by Manchester United showing Eric Ten Hag in training was this one over on Twitter. And that's Eric Ten Hag in the middle. Have a listen to what he says. You might recognize that drill. That is the exact drill that I said take a look out for from his time in Ajax. And what he's saying there, if we go back to it, that he's saying, look, pass into the left, cross and lay it off here and repeat that pattern. Now, this isn't something that is groundbreaking, that is mind blowing. It's like, oh, my God, Eric Ten Hag, what a revolutionary. That's not what I'm here to try and say. I'm saying that's the example of the beginnings of what will be different at Manchester United. And we are nowhere near. This sort of intensity, but this is this is what we're going to be getting towards. This is what we're aiming towards. There's no way that Manchester United could be doing it at that intensity just yet. But that's what training is all about. And in terms of the importance of training, I've done a previous video on Eric Ten Hag. And I want to pull up a clip from that because this was Eric Ten Hag directly talking about what he sees as the importance of training. Om een elftal te laten functioneren, en dan gaan zoveel situaties en die moet intrainen. Je moet automatisme kweken. En voordat je daar bent, ja, je moet dan ook nee, een juiste balans zien te vinden. Ja, dat, dat kost gewoon tijd. En, en dat gaat met vallen en opstaan. En, en, uh, ja, en in dat vallen dan komen natuurlijk de kritische geluiden. En ja, die horen er ook bij. En ja, daar, daar moet je mee omgaan. En wat belangrijk is, um, je eigen weg te blijven volgen. En dat wil niet zeggen dat je niet naar andere mensen moet luisteren. Maar... Als je als trainer van Ajax uh, je, uh, je oor laat hangen en na al die geluiden en bewegingen om je heen, ja, dan ben je wind van. Dan ga je alle kanten op, maar uiteindelijk dan zullen de spelers het niet meer begrijpen. En de players won't understand. Uh, by the way, look at that. Look at the camera quality difference. Jeez, we've gone up in the world. Come on, the boys. But yeah, what he's talking about there, again, nothing mind-blowing. But it's the importance of training, the importance of repetition until something becomes second nature. That's what has to happen at Manchester United. That's what will happen at Manchester United. And that's what you can see straight away from that pattern of play there with the intensity of training at Ajax. to this one here at Manchester United. Staying pass it in here. Lay it off there. Let's do it. Let's go. And he's working with the youngsters here. Of course, the youngsters are getting a little bit more attention because the first team players aren't there in full. So that's exciting to see as well because hopefully this is something that can be sort of that can change our academy a little bit. You'll have to start schooling the players in the Ajax way and helping them understand that so that by the time they get to the first team, they're more equipped to play that style of football. Because look, we can talk about all new signings all we want. Ultimately, success next season depends more on whether our current squad can be better than they were more than it does on just the new signings. They have to both happen at the same time. Rob Dawson from ESPN here. Look at the bottom bit. Ten Hag has not hidden the fact that he would like new signings during the transfer window. We know we need them. But in face-to-face -face meetings and Zoom calls with players conducted over the course of the last six weeks, he has stressed that the biggest change has to come from the squad he has inherited. 
And that is absolutely on the money. Both of those things have to happen in unison. And a lot of it happens on the training ground. What I want to do now is pull up a couple more examples of just little things that I enjoyed from the first video of uh, the video of training from Manchester United. Please drop a like on this video if you do enjoy it. Uh, and I hope Manchester United don't shut this down for copyright. Uh, I'm trying to react to the videos rather than uh, represent the videos. But I like this one little bit here where the players are running. Nothing major. Nothing major at all. But I just like, yeah, whip out that stopwatch. Have a little look down. He's somebody who's known as a very meticulous coach. Obsessive. Uh, one of his former players was saying um, that when he they used to do training runs in the forest and he said two minutes, they would run at 150 to try and impress him. He said, no, I didn't ask for that. I asked for two minutes on the button. I like that little bit. But yet we can see here again, here's another example of that training drill in action. Sancho in the middle there. One touch, Donny coming in. One touch into Sancho. One touch out from Sancho. That's going to be the big, big focus of Manchester United. Quick movement, intensity and quick passing. There's no... Time anymore for Manchester United to dither on the ball. And this is going to take time. This is going to take a long old time. This is this is the system that we will we want to see at Manchester United. We will see at Manchester United. But it will take some time before we get there completely. Uh, and that's what training is all about. Training is all about doing things a thousand times outside of a match scenario. So that by the time you do it once inside a match scenario, maybe not once with passing, but you just do it instinctively. You do it naturally, subconsciously, without thinking. That's what he's got to do. Train the muscle memories and do it so that Manchester United, because it's all well and good, right? Doing this in this environment, right? Tell it, telling players to pass it into the foot, lay it off there. Dead easy. Everybody can do that in a training environment. Players enjoy doing it. Look at that. Look how good I am. Doing that in a pressure situation when you've got Rodri or Kevin De Bruyne breathing down your neck. It's a completely different ball game. But that's what Manchester United have to do. One thing I had, one picture I particularly liked was this one. I don't know why I enjoyed it so much, but De Gea getting involved inside this training. He's not just there between the nets. He's got to be better with the ball at his feet. And we all know that. And he knows that as well. And Eric Ten Hag just standing there. Or maybe that might be Mitchell van der Gag. Might do a, an accidental... <laughs> That's the wrong ball person. But that, you get the point. The fact that we've got De Gea getting involved in these training sessions as well, that has to be considered a positive sign. And the players are taking it upon themselves to do extra training. Now, this one player who I really, I don't know. I don't think he will have a future at Manchester United under Eric Ten Hag. And that's Aaron Wan-Bissaka. I've just, I've not seen enough progression from him in the last couple of years, but maybe, uh, devil's advocate here, maybe he's just not been coached properly. Maybe there's not been that system. As Eric Ten Hag said there, it's about the players not understanding. If you keep changing and chopping what you're doing, how are the players supposed to understand what you want them to do? If we take a look at uh, this this video that's been released, this is from uh, Aaron Wan-Bissaka doing extra work himself. Let me try and turn this down so I can speak while this is going on. But you can see Aaron Wan-Bissaka here working on overlaps, one touches, moving wide. That's something where he's just been so weak at Manchester United. Let me turn that down a little bit more. You can definitely hear me, me talking. Uh, but I found this video quite interesting because, as I said, Wan-Bissaka, his weakness... Jeez, man. He was so bad. At, look at that. One touch around the player and release. That's Wan Bissaka was just so indecisive at Manchester United for a long, long time. Well, he has been praised it the whole way through. And for him to really work on that, he's got to put in the extra hours and the extra yards outside of just training with Manchester United. One touch around the player, two touches, pass and move. And, and, and this little bit at the end here, if there's one real element where we can say that he's been massively weak, and that's with this. Uh, wait for it towards the end. With his crossing. wan has got to work on that crossing. Some of those crosses look horrendous, by the way. <laughs> but look, everyone's got to start putting in the hard, hard yards. Whether that's De Gea. Whether that's just any of the players here in training. Whether that's the first team, whether that's anybody. Ten Hag will take absolutely no prisoners at Manchester United. And I, I, I just found it very interesting that the one video that I showed you uh, on Monday with that sort of intensity of, of passing, the one-touch movement, everything there was the exact first video that Manchester United released here with the players copying that drill. That's what I mean. Eric Ten Hag, you can, you can predict quite a lot of what's going to happen and what's going to come because it's a system. We understand it. As fans, we can now know exactly how Manchester United are supposed to be playing and how they will play and how they will train. And the players will understand that. And then when they start building into that and they buy into it, 
that's when the work can start paying off, as we've seen at Liverpool and City. Fingers crossed it can happen at United. But let me know what you think about what we've what we've seen so far. As I'm not I'm not saying this is groundbreaking stuff, but I'm saying it's beginnings of what's new. And that's exciting in itself. And that's going to build into muscle memory until the players start doing it subconsciously. That's what we want to see. You let me know what you think in the comments below, as you always do. And I'll see you soon.